York City, and I would like to say good morning, good day, and good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, I'd like to say thank you so much, because you are so fucking unpredictable, actually. <laughs> um, I like the barbs, the barbs always like every time I think that the barbs cannot one up y'all are just very different very much different I don't like and I'm not I'm not even saying this as a barb I'm not saying this as the head barb in charge today. I'm really saying that it's a different, like y'all are a force, like it is different and it's something that is so oh my god, like it's really, really just. Does this make? Is this normal to y'all? Like, do you do you think this is normal? Every single day, making history. I had a conversation last night with someone because I was telling them, "Oh, uh, you know." I gotta make Gag City a no fly zone in Bag City too. Um, I was telling them about a couple of the records and another record that, like, I was interested to see. And I was like, "You understand?" And I could tell, like, the person I was talking to, they were happy but they didn't like fully understand and um I was like no I don't think you understand like when you break or set a record in anything it goes in the history books until that record is broken you might not see an actual physical book. Well, let's face it, most of you don't read books. Um, but, but these are, um, these are monumental record-breaking achievements that I am always still in awe of because, like, I remember breaking that record um, when I put out the Anaconda video. And till this day, you know, like, we still remember it. Like, we still remember the, like, you know, the night before or, like, the day it dropped. We, like, the memes. Yo, I just thought about something. You know the equivalent to when y'all did them pictures of Gag City that I wasn't expecting? The equivalent of that was when everybody put a big fat butt on, um, like, like people in cartoons and started posting their own anaconda art. <laughs> Do y'all remember it was, they put it, was it Homer's, was it Homer Simpson or Bart Simpson? Yo. And, um, so I was telling, so, oh, Mar Simpson? Was it March? No, it was Homer. Wait, I don't remember. No, but y'all, do y'all <laughs> Listen, we so what I'm telling you is why why I've learned 
why I've learned to love like and cherish these moments is because now when I look back at those moments and you see you see how just me even talking about that it just made us start cracking up laughing but because like, you know what I mean because so it's not even it's not just it's not you know about oh I want to break this record I want to it's the memories surrounding that the beautiful memories that you guys should not take for granted forget um i'm not even talking about the Nicki minaj brand or anything like that i'm talking about as human beings like those nights those kinds of nights is what a fucking beautiful life is made up of it's not all the it's not every night it's not every weekend but it is but it's it they are like you see what it just did to me like because now i'm back there in that moment but I always remember about the barbs. I always remember the barbs. I always remember about the barbs that they always make me laugh. Honey Chan, it doesn't ever matter. There will be something when I go on that shit. I tell, I be telling people all the, I, I tell people this all the time. No matter what the fuck be going on, it's going to be something with one of the barbs being fucking stooped up. On either Twitter, well, and that, that was probably that was mostly at Twitter, and now it's, it's Twitter or TikTok. But best believe they're gonna be saying or doing something out of line, okay? And sometimes I show it to people, and they be cracking up. But I can't, you know, they like everybody. Knows, I can't post stuff. Certain, you know, I can't. There's a limit. Of, to what I can retweet or stuff. But listen. And what it be is that. You know what it be. And I was talking about. I was talking to somebody else about this the other day. You know what it be. It be. The comments. Under. Tweet, under a tweet. When y'all be leaving. Like. Like a person to put a regular tweet or a funny tweet, but y'all leave the gif. It's what y'all saying plus the gif or the video or sometimes a su- su- like some dumb ugly ass face smiling. And can y'all please stop using that old? What is the old face with the wrinkles? It's scaring me. I'm about to mute y'all with that stupid face. But look, it, I don't know. It's like a Chucky doll, and it got like it's like super wrinkly. What in the fuck is that? Yesterday, I promise you, it, my son was watching something on TV, and I said, "Get that off of his!" I, I snatched the remote. I, I said, "What the fuck is that?" It was like a little. It looked like a little. Like you know how like a it, it looked like a caveman, but a little person version of a caveman. So it's when some some cartoon movie that came out, and the shit scared me. But it was it was like a. But it was trying to, it was moving like, like a, like an alien or something. And I said, get it that, get off that, that off that, my, my channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was trolls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said trolls. Yes, it has. That's exactly what it looked like. Somebody said, at your big age, was afraid of trolls. Why are they moving like that in the movie? Why is they moving? Whatever, the, whatever they had, it was in, it was moving strangely. Like the body was not moving like a, whatever the fuck a troll was supposed to uh, move like. No, somebody said Papa Bear wasn't even face. He was because the minute I screamed, he screamed. He turned. I swear, he turned around and said, "Ah!" (laughs) (laughs) 
Y- listen, y'all. <laughs> Yo, if I'm lying, I'm lying. No, I'm not even kidding. But the fact that I didn't think I was explaining it right and somebody and y'all understand still what I was explaining. It had to have been trolls because now that I'm thinking about it, it looked at like if they like if a person had tried to turn a troll <laughs> into a human or what made the troll look more realistic. And I was like, nah, nah, we not doing that. We're not fucking doing that. Go back to the old regular troll. Y'all need to stop trying to fix other shit that been the normal way leave it the fuck is y'all doing I, it's, that show the fucking my, my, my child tv what the fuck wrong with you That's, it was very unstrange looking it's trying you know you you know what motherfuckers is, they really trying to do trying to prepare y'all for some shit so when y'all start seeing shit and seeing shit, y'all say, oh, that's a troll. That's a so cute, bitch. I will. D- listen, listen, listen. Okay. Okay. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Don't play. <laughs> Do not play. They will start preparing, appearing, presenting these motherfuckers to y'all. And y'all, done, y'all would be like, oh, yeah, oh. No, absolutely not. It's just, it, it, it's, why is the troll? Because the thing is, you cannot tell me, and I'm about to stop talking about the troll. Um, well, <laughs> I am the biggest troll. We're going to get to that too in a second, but I love being a troll. Oh, bitch, I love being a troll. But let me tell you something being a troll, being a, be, me being a troll make my nigga dick hard, okay? And he like when I talk real cocky and spicy. Mm, I, I didn't know that. I didn't. I was like, I was like, what? I was like, he, uh, he was like, you know, I like when you talk like that. I was like, no, I didn't know you. You, you like when I talk like that. It make my dick hard too, and I don't have one. What? Somebody said, I'm wheezing still because you said it moved funny. Yeah, back it up. My thing is this. Certain things are, so to me, certain things was better off when it was less technology on the thing. You understand? We don't want a troll looking more realistic. That looks fucking scary. Now you got to get out of my fucking house, sir. Enough. I got no time for this shit. I grew up on shit, you know, fuzzy fucking car, Sesame Street. Shit can't be zoomed in. Now every time somebody give me a device, you know, when Grizz be showing me back the pictures and stuff, I'm automatically trying to zoom it in with my fingers. On a, you know, every you think it's not even on a camera phone, but I'm trying to zoom. I'm trying to zoom in a a, a camera with the um. No, I did not scare Papa. Me and my son are so connected, babe. Um, I promise you, it's, I don't know, like, if you're, you know, if you're a mom, there's certain things, you you know, I could feel when my, the, the second my son wakes up, I, I'm talking about, we, like, in two different rooms, we'll wake up at the same exact time. And that's been happening, I don't know, I can't tell you how long. So my child screamed <laughs> and I screamed at the same exact time. And my husband is sitting there totally unfazed. And like, oh yeah, he always um be screaming at that point. I said, you had my I said he watched this before. I said, can't you see he's scared? <laughs> Uh, you gone, though. I love you too. 
Um, yeah. Oh, so is that what the thing y'all been posting with that face, with the wrink, with like mad small wrinklies, but it's a small, it's like a young, <laughs> it's like a young old face. <laughs> is that a troll? Oh, that wasn't a troll. What's that? Oh, Shawnee Hop said I po we posted her on TikTok. And guys, remember what I told y'all? Have y'all been giving the TikTokers that show me love? Not your friends that been bobs for 15 years. Even though some of the TikTokers are bobs. Some of the dope ones, I think. Well, I don't think. I don't know. Well, I think Cam might consider himself a bob. I don't know if du my baby Dupree considers himself a bob. But, you know. But, um. I have posted a few of my fave girls recently too, and I told y'all, I told you guys, when you see people show me love to to engage in their content, not just by liking it and not just by coming on Twitter and trying to get engagements for your own motherfucking ass. I told y'all, go and comment and engage in their content, and you know, and not only in their content that's talking about me, but it's a way to support their, you know, their page. So. Oh wait, let me play. I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna play two songs. Hold on. Hi, Nigeria. Let me tell you something about Nigeria, Jen. That's why I want to do my ancestry. I very much want to do my ancestry. Um, there was, you know. Uh, So many things I wanted to tell you guys. Um, now, wait a minute. Is that my South African flag? Hi, Norway. Yes, I need to. I want some igusi and fufu. Now, y'all. I need to learn how to make a, the perfect Nigerian dish. I would like to to learn three. No, I'd like to learn a South African dish. I'd like to learn. Um, and how would you say Ghani, Ghan, Ghanaian, Ghana? How do you pronounce it, guys? Ghanaian, Ghanaian. Um, but anyway, let me play in this song. Um, I love when I can hear the birds chirping because last night I was sitting, uh, like in the theater room. And I remembered being a kid, and every now and then, me and my husband just stand back and look at my son, and we'd be like, yo, look at this little boy life. From two kid, from two parents who had it pretty difficult, I'd say. Um, we grew up in the same neighborhood, so... Well, we be looking at, like, how our son lives versus how we had to get it out the mud. But let me tell you something. Anybody that got to get it out the mud, this is something I want you to really know. And I don't know who needed to hear this today. The ones that had to get it out the mud are... And this is not, this is just, this is not even, this is real. You can, I mean, do your own research. The ones that had to get it out the mud are usually the ones we love the most, the ones we connect with the most, the ones we can't be pulled away from, you know, the ones the ones who make the best leaders, the ones who make the best business partners.
when you want to go into business with somebody or you want to, oh, or you want to marry someone or you want to be friends with somebody, it's good to know that they've weathered a few storms because that means there's but so much that can phase them and they have a hustler a hustler mentality. Someone said, I hope my son appreciates all I do for him, even though I'm not well off yet. Baby, your son is going to appreciate all you do for him. As long as it's done in and with love. However, most of, you know, the kids that are born with money and into money. I mean, I don't know. Like, for the most part, when we think about rap, for the most part, all of y'all, for the most part, all of y'all favorite rappers was born broke and had to go hard and is a hustler by nature. <clears throat> so that's what you, you can identify something in them. You can identify, okay, this person, by way of their success, without them saying a word, they show me that just because you was born having to get it out the mud doesn't mean your children will have to struggle. Nobody would wish their children's, I mean, their childhood on their child. And that's just being the, that's just, if you ask 99% of people, hey, would you, would you want your, your child to have your childhood? Absolutely fucking not. I wouldn't even want my child being in the music industry. You know, because... And that's what I was saying, like, with... Like, when I went on Kai... Uh, and with all these streaming, with with all the guy, the the gamers and the the uh, podcasts and all of these people, you have it has you have to be smart to have a brand that is changing with the time. And a lot of these people, again, they're not born into money, so you gotta respect that at some on some level. So, so even with my fan base, my fan base, this is what y'all don't understand. My fan base is made up of doctors, lawyers. Are they made up also of students? Yes, proudly. I'm proud to sponsor a few of them too. Are they made up of people who haven't figured it out yet in life? Yes. And that's dope because if my fan base was made up of pe- just everybody, all, pe- everyone had it figured out, then what What would be the sense of half of the stuff I say to you guys? Like to try to inspire you. And so, hi, Scotland. Oh, my God. Well, the last time I was in Scotland, I had a motherfucking time. And you guys keep asking about the tour. <clears throat> I don't know how else to tell you. To fall back, enjoy the album. I told you the album would be amazing. I told you the album would be iconic. I told you yet that you would be happy about the album. Did I lie? <clears throat> now, if you guys need to hear me say it every day that I'm on, um, you know, as my schedule changes, obviously things will change. But you have nothing to worry about with this tour oh my god yes i'm headlining wireless fest in the uk and y'all i'm very excited 
I got a couple of things to get into, but first I had to say I am on a Hey guys, um, can you hear me? Okay. What what part of what did you guys hear? What was the last thing I said? Oh, why a tour? Yes. Oh, I said I love you. Wireless affirmation rolling loud. Yes. So I am incorporating uh, some festivals into the Pink Friday 2 tour. I've never been a mom, wife, and touring artist. Um, and the queen of rap. It's a lot. But I was built for this thank you baby Lori B thank you to Shanae yeah they just said 12 about the cocaine let me tell y'all people have no idea and I remember saying this I said oh well y'all know because I tweeted it many times I was like people have never experienced no a lot of people have not never experienced a Nikki guy foot on bitches next ever right remember when I kept on saying that guys right remember when it was like we go up when we go up to red ruby from we go up to red ruby I told my babies, we going to Gag City, okay? And like Ebro pointed out in the interview that I did on Apple Music, he said, this is one of those albums. And you know, I don't know if you know this. Y'all, y'all can say, y'all can like Ebro and y'all can not like Ebro. But he doesn't say thing, certain things unless he means it. So, remember when Ebro was like, this is one of them albums that you are going to be, like, you could tour for, you could be touring a year and a half off this album if you wanted to. Like, that's, it's because the quality of the album, the timelessness of the album, the urgency of the album, the magic, the beauty the the um the the truth pure genuine fan everything 
nobody has if you didn't if you were not there for the pink fry uh, for the pink the pink print tour if you weren't there for the pink print tour in the United States you have no idea what the fuck is about to happen when march when march starts and this tour starts and it, and now imagine what that energy felt like but now imagine that on steroids meaning from the look of the stage the movement the different choreographers so that there are all different types of stuff and vibes um and then imagine that now imagine that my fans in the US haven't seen me on tour since the pink print tour it is something that y'all have never seen before and it's just simply the barbs and shout to Casper he's um you know doing such an amazing job of putting my vision for this show together and the thing is i simply and this is the truth no matter what stage no matter what choreography no matter what costumes no matter what anything i would not be excited about my tour if it wasn't for the Pink Friday 2 album because <clears throat> the music is so good that yo this is the truth I ain't never put out an album that I wanted to perform at least 80% of on tour never Do you understand what I'm telling you like and it just and because of the because of the production and stuff like that it just slaps it just slaps um So what is your favorite five today or Pink Friday too that if you didn't see perform performed you would have left like oh no bitch I cannot believe she what what are the five songs that y'all would have felt like that about Let me calm down Bobby Dangerous Pink Friday girls falling for you Pink Birthday my life beat beat y'all going to always try to slip my, uh, my life in there huh press play oh everybody bobby dangerous red ruby needle um okay now y'all getting carried away to my just the memories if you coming to see it, that perform child uh, sorry to tell you big foot oh we big uh, press play definitely of course somebody just said girl please don't play g- uh, g- big foot 
paid moan. I just broke another Spotify record after having a record-breaking album that I just dropped. I will play whatever I choose, sweetheart. Okay? My barbs are going to love this tour. And... And, um... Yes, I know that's what you want. It's, that's what it's always been about. And I told the barbs, so they're aware. I told them it was about the tour. If you can't see that, you know, it's always been, it was about, it's, it was about my tour. Claire's day. Well, why would Jimpassy be leaking? Is 50 going to appear? Hmm. You bet your motherfucking dollar 50 cent going to appear. I'm going to have a song with 50 cent. South South Jamaican motherfucking Queens. And not have him appear. Hmm. How? Fifty Zen needs to come and destroy your hole. You better go and pray. Is future coming out? Wow, how am I do a few how am I do a a, a, a gag city album? And not have Pluto. Oh, that's a good idea. Look at my babies. Somebody said, tell 50 Cent to put beat people on one of his TV shows. You want to hear about the merch? Oh, the merch is stunning. Did you guys see? Wait, I, wait. I don't even know how much of the merch y'all have seen. Um. Well, yes, of course, there's gonna be new tour merch. Tour merch. But did y'all see? Like, no, I think y'all saw those. Y'all saw the merch already that has like all the the fo- the photo shoot, the album photo shoot photos on like one T-shirt. They're beautiful, vibrant colors. Like in person, they look beautiful. Have y'all saw those? Saw those already? Okay. Can I make more bombers and hats? Yes. Did y'all see that? Did, did, but did y'all see the reversible um, Pink Friday 2 bomber? Because I am wearing that. I've been wearing that shit. I've been wearing that for the last couple of days, actually, with, like, my oversized white um, sweatsuits from, you know, the Pink Friday. But that bomber goes so fucking hard. It go hard. I don't know. I can find out what sizes they have, babe. I don't know. All right, y'all. Let's get into some music. One second. Well, let me see what y'all were requesting. What y'all want me to play? All right, Lynn, Lynn is a T. This is your request. Let's see. And I'm going to take some other ones in a second. 